Welcome to my little paintbrush. My name is Miss Cami, and I'm excited that you're here today to paint with me. We are going to be painting a mer kitty today. At least that's what I call it. I've heard these called many things, so whatever it is to you, basically, it is a kitty cat mermaid. Okay, so let's dive right in and remember to be nice to yourself because all of our paintings are going to be a little bit different and that's totally okay. All right, I'm going to start with a nice flat brush. I'm going to use a good large one and I'm going to get some water on it. We're going to start in our background, which is a really light turquoise color. So I'm going to move a little bit of turquoise over in some white and just give that a really nice mix. This painting is very, very much um, pastel palette. So we're gonna lighten everything quite a bit. So there we go, I've got my, my light turquoise here. Make sure my brush has lots of water on it. And then we're just gonna start going around the edges of our canvas. And you guys know me, I like to start from the outside and move towards my subject. So we're gonna start out. This is a great time to paint your edges. So wrap your canvas. Remember your paint gets thirsty, so continue to add water to your brush every time. It starts to feel a little bit sticky, or maybe you feel like you're painting with Elmer's glue instead of paint. Those are all indications that your paint needs water. Keep going around, brushing through your paint, making sure you're not getting tons of lumps everywhere. Loading that brush nice. And then as you get close to your kitten, just slow down a little bit, okay? And we'll start to go around our little ears. And notice when I get up close, I press my brush, fanning out my bristles. That's really important. That'll help you get a nice, clean edge, okay? So press those brushes out, those bristles, I mean, sorry. And just get a nice, clean edge. And if you get into your little kitten, or the fin, don't worry too much. This is a super light color and we can fix that pretty easily. So just do your best. You can even switch to the toe. You can see that I kind of just switch it around if I need to. Okay, and just keep going around all these little details that we're gonna get to later. Go into that little section by using the toe of your brush. So our brush can give us different strokes depending on how we approach our canvas. We can approach it flat like this, or we can approach it like a ballerina and use the toe instead. So let's go around that cute little seashell up at the top, our little hair piece. Now listen, if your little boy joining us today painting this, you can change this into a male. And just don't worry about that hair piece. Maybe put a bow tie or something fun like that. Okay, so our background is in there really good. Let's give our brush a really good rinse. Scrub, 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 scrub that water out. And let's go switch to a smaller medium. Maybe you've been using a small medium this whole time. Fabulous, just stick with it. I'm gonna switch to one here. Get it wet, of course and load with some white paint and we're actually going to darken up our our turquoise just a little bit so this is our our background color right we're just going to darken it for the rest of our turquoisey colors we're going to make it just a shade darker like that mix that in there Wash our brush again. Make sure it's nice and clean. All right, now let's load with some white paint. Okay, so we've got white paint on all sides of our brush. If you see a little turquoise in there, just wipe your brush. 
And then we'll put the corner of our brush in that nice dark turquoise that we created. And we're going to go around our cat. So that dark edge is following the shape of our kitten's, our mer kitten's head here. And just brush it in like that, okay? So we're just gonna keep doing this all around the ears following the outline here. Again, you can see I'm pressing my brush so that I can get a nice clean stroke. Go all the way up to meet our seashells but not go inside. So every time I load I'm going white, a little bit of the turquoise there. Go around that ear paint is getting a little bit dry, so I'm going to add some water to it. It's really important that you understand when you need to add water to your brush, okay? As soon as it's, your brush stroke starts to break on you and you're not getting a good stroke, you really want to go to your water. Use that water. Okay, so we're just following that kitten all the way around getting as clean of lines as we possibly can. Loading with white every time. A little bit of turquoise. Let's go down here. This little area. Okay, both sides. And then we'll go right across here. Right before we get to that cute little fin that's going to have all the colors that we could possibly think of and of course as always your your mer kitten can be a different color you can have a pink one okay so I load it again now I'm gonna put in my, my little hands that are holding this cute star I'm just gonna swoop it around just swoop that around just like that okay again on the other side just swoop maybe come back this way we can't be afraid to do something over and over and over again go over the same spot over again that happens when we paint so don't let that stop you or, or discourage you okay so we've got our kitten all outlined basically in this fun turquoise so I'm not gonna wash my brush, I'm just gonna load it all with the turquoise now, that darker turquoise. And I'm gonna come up to our little circle shells up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. Again, pressing my bristles so they all fan out. And that'll give me a nice circle, so I'm gonna press. Pull all that paint around. Try to stay out of that bigger seashell if I can, but understanding that we're all learning and mistakes are gonna happen, so that's okay. Now, a couple other turquoise parts of my painting. This top section of my cute little fin is this darker color, so I'm gonna start to put that in. Again, pressing, pressing my bristles, right? Pressing them around and scooping it up just like that. Press and scoop. Right here, press, come around and then scoop that paint up. I can tell my paint's starting to seize up on me, so starting to dry up. If I can't get some good brush strokes, I know I need to go into my water and then loosen it up a little bit. Get a nice clean line right there. Super cute. And then of course, the very bottom of my tail right here is also this turquoise. So I'm gonna shape that in. Put that in. And don't forget to wrap the canvas here on the bottom. Flip your canvas over and carry that little tail all the way. Little fin. 
Okay, good job guys. We're still not gonna wash our brush. We're gonna keep this turquoise on it. I'm gonna come over here though and I'm gonna dip the corner in some white. I'm gonna probably wipe off quite a bit of the turquoise so it's not too heavy. And then I'll put a little bit of white on it. And I'll come over here to my little, little dips here and I'll just kind of highlight each one. And this is kind of fun, just putting like little V's in each one, just kind of spicing that up a little bit. So it's not, not super boring. Give some dimension here. Okay. Let's come back to this one. Very good. Let's do the same thing over here on our little tail. Is this a tail? I'm gonna call it a tail. The end of our fin there. There we go. All of our turquoise is in. Let's wash our brush really, really good because we're gonna use it for our pink. So we don't want any turquoise in there. Wash it really, really good. All right, let's move to our pink. You can see it's super bright, so we're gonna scoop some white over and we're gonna lighten that pink up quite a bit. And you can be the judge of this because it is your painting. But I'm gonna go pretty light on my pink. I'm gonna keep bringing over some white, really lightening that pink up, okay? Until it's fairly light. And then I'm going to go ahead and come up here in my little triangle ears, okay? Let's go ahead and fill that in nice. Gently, we can still use this flat, medium flat brush. If you're feeling a little bit worried about that though, you can switch to a round or a smaller flat if you have it. But really, just understanding the pressure of your brush is gonna help you be able to use all sizes of brushes. So we get our triangle in there. Just shaping that cute little ear, that inner ear. Awesome. Okay, let's go to our next section of our fin. Right underneath that turquoise is a fun pink layer. So let's go ahead and put that in. Just do like three little smiley faces. And then I'll switch to the toe of my brush so I can really get in between these turquoise sections. But we're gonna come through there with some darker turquoise lines in a minute. So if I can't get right up next to it, I'm not gonna let that stress me out too much. I'm just gonna do the best that I can here. Kind of get up in there just like that. Okay, so before we wash our brush, We'll do the same thing. We'll put a little bit of, let's wipe some of that pink out. Put a little bit of white just on one edge there. And we'll come and we'll do the little swoopy things right on our little pink section. So we'll just do three little smiley faces here. Brighten that up a little bit. We'll also brighten up our ears. We're gonna lighten up the left side with some white here. And then we're gonna wipe that white off, load with that dark light pink, and then do a little corner of the dark, dark pink. And we're gonna go around the right side with that. Okay, and just shadow that section. Got a little lump there, so I'll just kind of wipe that off. And start again here. There we go. Oh, this is looking awesome. Okay, let's wash again. Get that pink out. And we're going to move on to our purple. Okay, so same thing. We've got this nice dark purple 
we need to pull some white over and we need to lighten it up staying true to the rest of our palette keeping everything nice and light okay and then we're going to come to our final section of our little mercats fin and we're just going to fill that in i haven't switched brushes yet you guys so keep that in mind i'm still using my my medium flat here okay so this is a great time to go ahead and wrap the bottom of your canvas so we got that in and then we're gonna put some white on corner like we've done this whole time I might be running out of white here huh I'm gonna have to put some more on my and then we'll come up here put some light down in there okay and it might kind of blend in you might have to load again and get a nice there we go nice chunk now let's move up to our nice purple seashell up here and we're just gonna fill that one in oh I love this purple against this turquoise pressing my bristles fanning my brush filling in that shell All right, coming down here to this little section and just kind of getting that in. Nice. All right, now we're going to put in the darker sections of that shell. So go ahead and before we wash our brush, put some dark purple on a corner here. And we're going to come over to the left of our shell and just use that darker edge to follow it around here. Okay, so it kind of looks like we're making a heart here. But then right in the center, we're gonna come, not all the way down, but just about, we're gonna do that center part of our shell. Let's do it one more time. Make sure it's nice and dark standing out from everything else here you can see if you've got to go over something multiple times that's all right and then you kind of wipe off your brush and blend in that center all right wow we are doing awesome okay let's wash our brush out really really super good so that we can do our yellow star we really need a clean brush yellow is super super shy and it doesn't want to compete with any other color so if we have any other color in our brush it is going to compete with it okay so I'm gonna load with my yellow here and fill in my cute little star just following those lines around Again, if you feel the need to switch to a different brush, totally fine. I'm going to just stick with my flat here as long as I can. I like to sometimes challenge myself, see if I can use one brush for a long time before I need to switch. you can try that out too all right looking awesome let's give our brush a really good wash make sure that yellow is out swish it around really good and let's put in some bubbles okay we've got bubbles in the background you can bubble this as much as you want okay but I'm gonna keep them down on the left hand corner and top right corner is what I'm gonna do okay so here I go I'm gonna load with some white paint using my flat brush the first bubble is gonna be going off the page right here and it's a nice big one okay nice big bubble right there then I've got kind of a medium sized one right here and then I've got my littlest one right here Remember, bubbles come in all shapes. 
and sizes. When I say shapes, all shapes of circles, I guess I should say, huh? Some are a little wonky and that's okay. All right, let's go down here to this corner, our left bottom corner. We've got one right here coming off the page. Love to do bubbles coming off the page. One right here coming off the page. Okay. And then we've got three coming a little closer to our little mer kitten. Let's do one right here. Just try and have fun with them and make them all just a little bit different in size. We'll try and do a little, little one with our brush up here. There we go. All right, guys, before we wash it, let's keep the white on it and go back to that dark turquoise. So we've got half white and half turquoise on our brush. And let's follow those bubbles so they really stand out. Okay, so take that dark edge and just follow that bubble around. And we want to do this while our paint is wet so that it blends in really good. Goes far around, see if we can do a full circle. Those are tricky, but you can do it. Might take you a little bit of practice, but you can get it, okay? So full circle. All right, we'll come down to this one. Another one there. If your dark or if your background is a little bit darker than mine, you might need two coats of paint on your bubbles. But I think one is good for my background is super light. Okay, one right there. Come around on this one. Just keep working your brush. And then our little teeny one here much as we can. All right, awesome. Guys, we're just about done. Let's wash that brush again. We're gonna get into our details, which I love. I love the details. Swish it around. Let's put our eyeballs in. So we're just gonna continue to use our flat. We're gonna go into some black paint. And we're gonna paint in a nice circle. And circles are obviously one of the trickiest things to do. So just try and keep a steady hand and make sure your paint's nice and thin, okay? That's important as well. And go as far as you can without picking up your brush, that will help too. And just keep in mind, circles grow as we try and fix them. So know when to stop. I have to tell myself this all the time. All right, our eyes are in. Can you see our kitten coming to life here? All right, swish, swish, swish. Might even hear that. Really have to wash that brush generously. Okay, let's go back to this light purple and put some white on the corner there. And let's go give this shell a little bit of light. Up here, we'll go around there. And we'll come this one here. And a little right there. Perfect. Wash it out. Let's do the same thing. Give our starfish a little bit of love. So loading with yellow, a little bit of white. And we'll just kind of give little sections of light to our edges of our star here. How are you guys doing? Are you sticking with the flat brush or have you moved on to a smaller one? I'm about ready to switch to a small one myself. All right, guys. Let's get some details in. Washing that brush really good, setting it aside. Let's go ahead and move to a detail brush, whatever that means to you. Let's get our details in. Let's get our brush nice and wet. And let's go to our darkest turquoise. Okay, so this is what's left of that turquoise that we started with. We didn't mix all of it, remember? So we have some left here. 
Let's go ahead and start in our circle shells. First thing we're going to do is go around the outside of the shell like that. Okay, and we'll do this one. And you can kind of, you can see I kind of split up that circle if you need to. Okay, so it's got a little outline. Now we get to do a swirl, okay? And people are always super scared of these swirls. Make sure your paint is nice and watered down, okay? So super thin and start on the inside of your swirl and go out, okay? So here we go. We're going to start and we don't want to pick up our brush until we're done. See that? Just go in one swirl. So let's start again in the center and not pick up our brush until we're done with our swirl, okay? I love doing these around Christmas time when we do candy, candy land paintings. Okay, let's come down to our cute little, kind of seems like a little skirt. I told you we were going to come back to that. Okay, so here we are just kind of making these V's all along the bottom here of this. I might just call this a little grass skirt thing on the top of this. I'm kind of feeling that right now. And then along the top, let's just kind of give a nice little line and we can even break it up. We can do one swoop and then pick it back up over here, do another, just like that. And let's come over to our little tail here, just all the way around. Awesome job, guys. Rinse out that brush. Can you hear that swishing? Okay, can you hear it swish, swish? Okay, dark pink, darkest pink. Loosen up that dark pink. Real good. All right, let's go to our pink and let's go just line and then swerve it up like that. You see that little kind of kicks into that pink there? So cute, just like a row of smiley faces. It helps to tell yourself what shape you're trying to make. So you can relate to it somehow. All right, wash it out again. We're gonna have to wash, wash, wash every time, huh? Let's go to our purple. Get that darkest purple on there. Come down to our purple section. This one's a little less complicated because there's not much of that part showing, but just like that. And then up here on our little shell, just gonna darken the bottom section of our shell here, okay? Just the little bottom. And then we can add some of that lighter purple to a flat and just kind of blend that in a little bit. Perfect, okay, swish, another wash here. Let's move into some white, okay, and let's give that little swirly, some little light here and there. It's just a good idea to brighten things up with some white, just like that. All right, you guys, let's wash that out and let's put an expression on our kitty, all right? So let's go into our black. Make sure it's super loose again, you guys. I can't stress that enough. If your paint is too thick, you are gonna hate little lines. Loosen it, twist your brush. Okay, let's put in a little nose. We're gonna go for a little bit of a triangle here. Nice little button nose. Just like so. Okay, and let's go for some eyelashes. I do one, two. Just swoop those around. Look at that. It's not fun. Just give our kitty some eyelashes. Nothing to be scared of. Now let's give our kitty a nice smile. It's happy kitty, mer kitty. And of course our kitten 
whether it's in the water or not needs some whiskers, right? So let's come over here, right underneath this eye slightly, and let's put some fun whiskers out just like that. Let's do the same thing over here. One and two. Awesome. Washing our brush again. Always gotta wash it. Put a little white on there. Give your nose a little light. Just up at the top there. Just gonna blend that down. Okay. And how about some fun little reflections in the eyes? And let's just put little bubbles everywhere, okay? So dip the bottom of your brush in white paint. We're gonna do two, one, and then two. A large one and a little one. And that's just kind of what I do. That's what I like to do with my eyes, okay? And let's put some little bubbles in our shells. Let's do some big ones and some smaller ones. And that's all about pressure. So if you put lots of pressure on your brush, you're gonna have a big one, a little bit of pressure, you'll have a smaller one, okay? So we got some there. Let's come down here and do a few. And this is just so relaxing because you don't have to really think so much about these. We're just kind of given this whole under the sea theme here. I'm making sure she's just got bubbles. Let's do a few right here. Whoops, not enough paint. Make sure you keep that nice dot on your brush. Um, but sometimes you have to kind of swirl it around a little bit. Okay, let's put a few in our star. Just here and there, just like that. Okay, we can't forget about our cheeks, right? I'm gonna switch back to my biggest brush for my cheeks. It's got the biggest base, okay? So I need to make sure I've got some light pink here. I don't want my cheeks to be too bright, so I might mix a little white in that pink. I don't have much left from earlier. And I'll just take that and I'll give my kitten a nice rosy cheek because she needs that for sure. Okay, so one there. Come over to the other side. And do the same thing and you can just kind of swirl that brush around to help you get a bigger circle than maybe just a little dot would have given you okay guys I think we're done can you believe that wipe the bottom of your brush off so you don't get any paint anywhere on your clothes I'm just going to make sure the bottom of my shell has a little highlight, those are important. Make sure we've got everything, I think we do. So let's go ahead and sign. I'm gonna sign with this dark turquoise. Loosen it up. Find a good spot. I think I'll go down here. And we just sign our name. Because we're super proud of our work, we just worked really hard. And I hope you love your mer kitten, okay? Let it dry really good and then go hang it up for everybody to see. And hopefully I'll see you again. Bye-bye, guys.